Now, I'm going to be showing you guys so you can create this super unique white montage effect. I think this effect is super crazy and it's super simple to create as well. Inside of the Premiere Pro timeline, we have this music video opened up here and the effect, I'll just open it up and show you guys here. This is such an essential effect to learn how to use because once you guys have this, you'll be able to pretty much do a lot of different effects with it. Once you get these unique styles down, you can add a lot of stuff to it as well to create and make it your own. So to get started, what you want to do is you want to line up a bunch of clips in your timeline at four frames. So I counted these out, one, two, three, four, and I have a bunch of clips at four frames just like that. Now, what I did is I dragged the full music video inside of here. I right clicked, hit scene edit detection, and created a bin and it cut them all up and put them inside of this bin here and that's how i got the clips from this full music video if you guys are editing your own music video obviously you won't have to do this but if you're editing a music video downloaded from youtube you have to do it this way now before we hop into this video my brand new plugin fast effects is finally out it allows you to instantly add hits shakes wipes and a ton of other transitions inside of your video in just one click everything is fully customizable i'm going to be using this on every single one of my projects going into the future as it adds so much energy so fast you definitely need it as a time saver and the effects are just so crazy. So if you guys want to go download Fast Effects, it'll be in the description. But let's hop right back into the video. So once we have all of our clips lined up here, you guys can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them, all at four frames. Count them out with your arrow keys. One, two, three, four. All we have to do next is go inside of our project, right click, create a new item, and then create an adjustment layer. And we're going to drag and drop that on top of our clips in between. Now, my adjustment layer is coming at six frames. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I think we can take two frames off and we'll put that directly in the center here. I'm actually going to try it at two frames to begin with. So what we want to do next is you want to go into your effects and you want to search up directional blur. We're going to drag and drop that on our clip here. Now we're going to go inside of effect controls, go to the very beginning, and we're going to turn up our blur length here to something around 40, 43 ish. And we're going to rotate it 90 degrees so it's sideways you guys can see we get that little wipe effect there so if we just copy and paste this along all these videos here you guys can see we get this you guys can see we get a super unique effect there and that can be paired with a couple other things as well if we go back into effects here and we go and search up lumetric color you can drag and drop that on our clip here go directly in the center now go to lumetric color open up basic correction here and then keyframe the exposure in the center and bring it to like one and then go to the end and keyframe it to zero and then go to the very last frame on here and bring it back to zero. We get a nice little flash transition just for the one frame there in the middle. You can even make it a bit higher if you want. I'm going to try three. And if we copy and paste that on the rest of them here, we get this flash wipe transition. Super fire, guys. I think that's a super unique effect to have in your arsenal. If you want to pair it with some grungier effects like rain or add some CRT textures or anything like that, that's totally up to you guys. I think even an invert would look cool on it. You guys can see super hard. Just put an invert on every other one. Super sick there, guys. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below what effects you guys want me to do next. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.